Trading is often a delicate balance between strategy and execution, and building the perfect system can feel like a daunting task. In this video, we'll use TrendSpider's AI Strategy Lab to tackle that challenge, walking through the process of creating a winning strategy and showcasing what's possible with this powerful AI-driven tool. Let's jump in. When building a strategy, the data you feed your model dictates how the model learns. For this case study, the one hour time frame on the SPY was selected using data from December 1st, 2018 to February 1st, 2020. This section of the chart was chosen for its varied market conditions, which included a sharp sell-off, a V-shaped recovery, a period of sideways consolidation, and finally, a strong uptrend. The prediction goals were configured using the AI Strategy Lab's preset settings, a 40 candle horizon, a 1.5% take profit, and a 0.5% stop loss. These settings represented a logical starting point, balancing a reward to risk ratio of 3 to 1 with SPY's typical price movements over a 7 day period. The goal was to test the AI's ability to uncover patterns and opportunities within these boundaries. To keep things straightforward, the logistic regression model was selected as a starting point. This model is an excellent choice for building a foundational understanding of the data before exploring more advanced models. For the model inputs, the AI Strategy Lab's built-in RSI prompt provided a strong starting point. However, after the initial model showed limited success, the input parameters were manually adjusted to longer RSI lengths, specifically 14, 20, 28, and 56. These lengths were selected to approximate the concept of multi-time frame analysis, an approach which allowed the AI to analyze interactions across different time horizons while maintaining a straightforward and focused setup. With the training data and inputs defined, the AI Strategy Lab began training the logistic regression model. While the results were not deployment ready, they offered a glimpse of potential. The confidence first win rate chart hinted at opportunities worth exploring, prompting the use of the Try Other Model Types feature to test the same inputs with alternative models. That's where things got interesting. The naive Bayes model produced similar results as the logistic regression model, but the k-nearest neighbor and random forest models both showed significant promise. Their confidence versus win rate charts were distinctly up and to the right, suggesting that higher confidence predictions correlated strongly with higher win rates. Encouraged by these results, both models were deployed for further testing under the labels RSI Model 1 KNN and RSI Model 2 RF. With our models deployed, the first step in validating an AI strategy is to test it on out-of-sample data. Since the models were trained on data from December 1st, 2018 to February 1st, 2020, an alternative data set was selected for the strategy test, specifically the period from February 1st, 2020 onward. Here's how the results compared. RSI Model 1 KNN delivered an 18.7% return, compared to SPY's 84.7% over the same period. While the return was modest, its 3.02 reward to risk ratio and negative 6.5% max drawdown showed excellent risk management. RSI Model 2 RF outperformed, with a 53.5% total return, a 2.82 reward to risk ratio, and a negative 9.7% max drawdown. This model also had higher trade frequency and win rate. While Model 1 demonstrated stronger risk management, Model 2 provided better overall returns, making it the preferred choice for further refinement. It's not possible to modify the entry conditions determined by the AI, so refinements focused on exit parameters. Notably, when observing the charts, it was clear that there was a chance to capture more of the trend while maintaining reasonable risk levels. To address this, the exit conditions were adjusted in these ways. The take profit was increased from 1.5% to 5%, the stop loss was widened from 0.5% to 2%, and the time horizon was shortened from 40 candles to 35. These adjustments transformed the strategy, delivering a 119.4% return, outperforming SPY's buy and hold by 34.7%. The win rate improved to 55%, and the max drawdown remained manageable at negative 18.8 compared to SPY's negative 35.1% over the same period. This new iteration of the strategy delivered market-beating returns with half the risk. The next step was to evaluate how the strategy performed across different timeframes and assets using the Strategy Variance Explorer. 
Testing included a range of new time frames from the 5 minute, 10 minute, 15, 30, 45, 65, 90, 2 hour, and 4 hour. On the asset side, the focus remained on the major indexes, specifically the Qs and IWM, to complement the original SPY analysis, and the results were eye-opening. The best performing combinations didn't come from the SPY, but instead from the Qs, with the 90-minute, 2-hour, and 4-hour time frame showing the most promising performance. Among these, the 90-minute time frame stood out as the clear leader, and here's why. The 90-minute strategy delivered a 256.4% total return, outperforming the buy and hold approach over the same period by over 90%. It also boasted the highest win rate of the three time frames at 52%, alongside the largest average return per trade at 0.82%. Beyond returns, the strategy proved adept at managing risk, with the max drawdown of negative 18.3 significantly better than the negative 37.3% drawdown of buy and hold. This combination of high returns, consistent performance, and reduced risk made the 90-minute QQQ strategy an unexpected yet exceptionally compelling outcome. With the best performing asset and time frame identified, the strategy can be deployed in a number of ways across TrendSpider. Accessed via the Manage Indicators toolbox, deployed strategies can appear as text labels, allowing for visualizing new signals as they arrive. To receive a notification each time a signal emerges, AI model conditions like Signal Emerged can be selected as a parameter in a multi-factor alert. Finally, before taking any new strategy live, forward testing is a crucial step to ensure its real-world effectiveness. Unlike backtesting, which evaluates performance on historical data, forward testing simulates real-time market conditions to validate whether a strategy can consistently perform as expected. The AI Strategy Lab takes the complexity out of building trading strategies, allowing you to focus on what really matters, refining your approach, and making informed decisions. If you're ready to see how AI can transform your process, I hope this video inspires you to dive in and give the AI Strategy Lab a try for yourself. As always, happy trading, and we'll catch you next time.